We are under the lights as the show gets you ready for another edition of Major League Baseball. Ought to be a good one here between the Pittsburgh Pirates and the Washington Nationals. Pittsburgh find themselves on a five-game skid. They'll try to get back on track next. Patrick Corbin gets the ball for Washington in this one. What do you have for us on him, Danny? Hey, we're looking at a real solid starting pitcher right here. You take a look at that ERA, anywhere between three and a half and four, but I'll tell you what he does know how to do. He knows how to get people out, and he can minimize the damage. He knows how to control the running game. He does a lot of things right, and if he does all those things, expect a real solid performance in this one. Now at the plate, Kevin Newman, and we are set for baseball here this evening. Start of a four-game set as the game's first pitch misses for ball one. So, guys, these Nationals, as they interplay here tonight, they're definitely in a nice stretch as they've won six of their last seven ball games. Yeah, Matty, this is a classic case of hitting is contagious. They scored a bunch of runs last game, and this team is flying high right now. This is a fight at the bat rack. 2-0 and now. Here it comes. Ah. Sent out to straightaway center field. Robles waits on it. Makes the play one away. Batting second, the center fielder, number 10, Brian Reynolds. So striding forward now, Brian Reynolds. Here it comes. Down the left field line and deep. And that will end up a foul ball. Looking at his lifetime numbers, Reynolds has a batting line residing in the 290s, looking to boost that even higher here. Hit hard to third. Castro's got it, and there are two away now. Adam third. The second baseman, Adam. Settling in now, Adam Frazier. We show you what he did in May versus what he's done so far at the plate in June. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. And that misses ball one. Two out, nobody on. One oh pitches a slider swung on and missed one and one. Can't keep the weight back and he falls behind one and two. Now the pitch. And the inning goes away in unceremonious fashion on a swing and a miss at a ball way outside the strike zone. One, two, three, go the Pirates. Now it'll be Washington's turn in a scoreless ball game. Joe Musgrove, the California-born right-hander, is on the mound. What's your take on him, Dan? Hey, Matt, we're getting a chance to look at a guy that's been pretty good his last three starts. A whip under 1.20, so he minimizes the amount of base runners. He's a tough customer. It'll be fun to watch him to see if he's on point early in this one here today. The speedy Trey Turner digs in now. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Trey Turner. Now the pitch. Hey. Dero, Dan, we look at this Pirates ball club as they interplay here tonight. They come into this one in need of some kind of spark to turn them around as they find themselves in the midst of a five-game slide. He 
A swinging strike, and now it's 0-2. Here it comes, 0-2. Now the fastball is right by him as he swings and misses for the first out of the inning. Didn't mess around much in that at-bat, Dan. That no, that was pretty impressive, Matt. I really like a pitcher Garland. that trusts and works off his fastball. Right there, he decided he didn't need to use anything else. Three straight heaters and go grab some bench. So here's Starlin Castro. As he'll take a cold strike here on a borderline pitch at strike one. The numbers coming in. He's at 255. Five homers and 22 RBIs. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-1. Looked like he tried to pull it there, but he swings right through the fastball. And set up working the plate is Matthew Ross, as you see the rest of the umpiring crew there. Hey, d -Row, this is a pitcher's best friend. Matthew Ross, very wide strike zone. Yeah, no excuses from the offense today. You know coming in when you see the lineup card and Matt Ross is behind the dish, you better be aggressive. And that's the second out. Batting third. No left fielder. Wow. Soto. Here now is Juan Soto. First cuts for him here with the bases open and two away. Now here it comes. Yeah, I get it. They want to run this guy's pitch count up, but that was a pretty good pitch to hit. He might be kicking himself that he didn't swing at that one. In front of the changeup, and he can't keep it fair. Two strikes on him now. And on 0 2, he misses with a fastball. Two pitch mix here. If you're in the batter's box, you're looking for something up. Sinker change up right here. Got to get it up. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. Bases are empty here with two men out. Swung on by Soto, and he connects to deep right. And that is off the wall. The relay, and he's able to hustle his way up to second as he'll reach here with a two-base hit. As we look again at that double here, you can see that he was thinking too right out of the box. Smashed it down the line, and that was some great hustle to beat the throw to second to earn himself a double. At the plate, Eric Thames, nope. as the first pitch to him is taken low and away for ball one. Have to find a way to get that guy home from second now. Never know how important these early runs can be. The 1-0. Two ball, no play. Soto stands at second with two gone. Drilled to first. And nothing will come of the two-out double as the inning is over. Danger averted following the two-out double. Back with more Monday Night Baseball following this. So that'll bring up Josh Bell. His career batting line with Patrick Corbin. Two hits in seven tries. Yeah. He's ready. Here's the first offering. And that's well, inside for a ball. 1 0. Oh. Well, Lays off again, and it's 2 0. Oh. Hey, you want to talk about being in a zone? This guy's been raking lately, and it all starts with his pitch selection. Two great takes, and he's almost daring the pitcher just go ahead and challenge him. Three and oh now. Hey, after those two breaking balls missed, you have to be sitting on a fastball right here. Three-oh pitch. 
And that misses for ball four. So it's a leadoff walk here to start the second. That is it. The right fielder, Gregory Polanco. Up next for the Buckos, Gregory Polanco. And he's carrying a batting average of just over 300. So clearly he's been a productive player with the bat in his hand so far. From the stretch. On oh, its tailor made to short, six, four, three, but it's not in time, and they'll just get the one. That is it. The third baseman, number 13, Key Brian Hayes. Digging in, Key Brian Hayes, and he comes into this one really slumping. The numbers there over the past several games, not very pretty. First delivery to him on the way. Aye. Now the 0-1. Oh, it's hit to third. Five, four, three. It's a double play, and the inning is over. Around the horn they go. Five to four to three to end the threat. We're back with more on this Monday night after this. Standing in, Howie Kendrick. And he's carrying a batting average of just over 300. So clearly he's been a productive player with the bat in his hand so far. Kendrick waiting, now the pitch. Into right field, that's a base hit. Sometimes you just got to trust your hands. That pitch that probably good. wasn't even in the zone, and he was able to fight it good. off for a base hit. Good. In now for Washington, Kurt Suzuki. First pitch of the at bat. Oh, He's running. Pitch swung on and missed the throw. Perfect throw, and they got him at second. That very well could have been a hit run play, but that pitch was so far out of the zone, it really made it hard for the hitter to make any contact. Kind of left his teammate hung out to dry. Chopper to short. On to first, and Suzuki's retired, two away. That is better. The center fielder, Victor Robles. So bases are empty here with two gone, and that'll bring up the outfielder, Victor Robles. Here comes the first pitch. Left field and deep. Ranging back is Dyson at the track. And just short of a home run, this ball's off the wall. And now he'll get into scoring position with two away. This right here is the difference between an average hitter and a very good hitter. The average hitter probably doesn't do anything with that pitch, but this guy goes down and gets it, muscling it to the outfield for an extra base hit. Now at the plate, Michael Taylor. And as you check out his righty-lefty splits, no surprise that he hits better against southpaws than he does against right-handers. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. On one. Oh. 
Off the plate, one ball, one strike. A ball and two strikes now. And he fouls this one off. To two right balls now. and two strikes now. When a pitch is close to working through a quick inning, that's when you really need to grind out some at-bats. He's done a good job of that, and that's really big when you're hitting towards the bottom of the order. The 2-2. Two -two. Some pitchers fall into the trap of giving in on 3-2 and two because they don't want to walk the guy. But with the base open, it's not the end of the world if you do. You still need to make a quality pitch. Bottom of the second here with no score. And that's low ball four. That walk is going to feel a little extra frustrating for this pitcher. Not only do you never really want to walk the number eight hitter, but it's also going to let the pitcher hit this inning instead of forcing him to lead off the next one. Looking to wiggle out of this, here it is. Patrick Corbin is in with two away as he takes a ball, 1-0. One ball, no strikes. Lifted the other way to left center. And the two-out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. Nats leave a pair. We'll move to the third with no score. now in Washington, D.C., home of the Nationals, who have certainly treated these fans to some impressive pitching so far this year. They enter the day near the top of the league in strikeouts, so this is a pitching staff that possesses a lot of dominant arms. One of them told me, the talent and pure stuff on this team is ridiculous, so as long as we're going after the hitters and commanding our pitches in the right spots, we'll have a lot of success. Most of the time, that's the case, and that's because we trust in our abilities. It's pretty clear these guys are some of the best around at keeping the opposition off balance. Matt? Thank you, Heidi. Jacob Stallings will be the next hitter, and he's looking to turn things around. Ice cold at the plate in recent action. First pitch on its way. Ball one, no sight. You know, sometimes it takes a pitcher a few pitches to get going, but those two pitches weren't even close. Falls behind in the count, 2-0. and It's time to start getting locked in. Now the 2-0 home. Three and one. Gerard Dyson, the number eight hitter here, waits on deck. Softly on a line to third. And this will be gobbled up fairly easily down there at third for the first out. The left hitter, Gerard Dyson. Here's Gerard Dyson. And you see that average below the dreaded Mendoza line. First delivery to him on the way. That's a ball. Dyson is a very well-regarded defensive outfielder. It used to be that fielders were evaluated mostly by the eyeball test and simple stats like fielding percentage. But, of course, these days there are many more advanced ways that help determine a guy's work in the field. And in his case, he shines in many ways. You know, Matty, for me, I think he does pass the eyeball test. I know you have to look at all the numbers and the analytics to really appreciate a ball player like this, but, man, does he come to work every day and play hard. You think there's any justice in the game? Watch those two at-bats. Both of them hit on the absolute screws. One's right at one guy, and then one's a single. Go figure. Into the box now, Joe Musgrove. 
Now a bunt attempt here as he gets this one down. Only play to the pitcher covering and the runner moves into second on the play. Now batter. The shortstop. Kevin Newman. So coming to the plate, Kevin Newman. He flew out in his last at bat. Here comes the first pitch. Not close with the off-speed pitch taken for a ball. Third inning, no score to this point. Grounder hit hard down the first baseline. But a foul ball, one and one. One and two as he chases the slider. Here's the one and two. Waved at and missed for the third out. Not much of a chance at hitting that one and the inning is over. Pirates leave one. Home half of the third coming up. No score. Bottom of the third now, and in the bat is Trey Turner. Not shortstop. Trey Turner. Third baseman in tight, protecting the bunt, the first pitch. In there at the knees as he authors a strike to the leadoff man, nothing and one. A swing and a drive to center field. That one's got a chance. And he will run this one down, moving to his right, and that's the first out of the inning. Now batting, the third baseman, Darlin Castro. Here's Starlin Castro, 0 for 1 here in the early going. First offering on its way. And he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. Bottom of inning number three. Nothing, nothing our score. Fastball just misses. That's ball one. Stone cold take right there. That fastball very well could have sent him packing back to the bench. The one, two. Here's a pop up now. And this will not be caught. It's a foul ball. Bases are empty. One man out. Count is even at two and two to Starlin Castro. This is a fun guy to watch when he's up there. Really battles. Doesn't take any pitches off. He's a grinder. Always seems to make it difficult on the opposing pitcher. The 2-2. Two -two. Is a fastball that misses. Not a time to fool around right now on a 3 2 count with the middle part of the order coming up. Expect a good pitch to swing at. Now the payoff pitch home. Strike three on a pitch in the dirt. He makes the throw to first, two down. So bases are empty here with two gone, and that'll bring up the dynamic bat of Juan Soto. First pitch coming, here it is. And who looks like he got the call there on the pitch inside. It's nothing in one. Swung on and driven to right, and no doubt about it. And this ball is gone. No chance to make a play on that one. A solo shot here to straightaway right field. Home run number nine on the year. As the Nationals strike first, it's one to nothing. 
That's one of those pitches you wish you could take back as soon as it leaves your hand. But guess what? There are no delete or rewind buttons in baseball. That's a mistake, and it was a good job by his opponent to make him pay for it. Into the box, the Eric Thames. Three, three, number nine. As he yeah, right. looks at a fastball that misses off the plate for ball one. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. The 1 0 home. Misses for the second ball. Looks like this guy's afraid to throw the ball in the strike zone. Gave up that home run earlier in the inning. Needs to get back to being aggressive. Two out, nobody on. Good pitch there down below the zone got him to go after it. In my opinion, one of the toughest pitches in the game to square up. Just a heavy sinker with good downward action. Right to him. Throw on to Bell at first, and the side is retired. Nats on the board first, courtesy of the solo home run. We played three full. It's now 1-0 Washington. All set for the start of the fourth and standing in the outfielder, Brian Reynolds. Brian Reynolds. First pitch of the at bat on its way. And a good slider here to start the at bat, but it's ruled a ball, 1 0. A 2 0 count to the Bucks center fielder. Now the 2 0. On a line, that's a base hit. Hey guys, he was obviously trying to bury that slider down and in. Nice execution by the batter right there. Keeping his hands inside, fighting it off for a nice base hit. So here's Adam Frazier. As he'll take a look at a strike on the outside corner, it's 0-1. Hey, this is a perfect opportunity for them to get on the board right now. Leadoff man has done his job. Now the middle of the order gets their shot at the plate. He said, here's the 0-1. This is hit the other way out toward left field. Soto will settle under it to make the play for the first out as the runner will have to head back to first. The first base of the 55. Josh Bell. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Josh Bell. He drew a walk his first time up. From the belt, the pitch. Yeah. All ones the count. Nothing in one count. Here it comes. Nope. Ball one. Boy, that's a nasty breaking ball right there. Backdoor slider. Just missed the corner. As they say, that's a Hall of Fame pitch. Grounded to third. This could be two. Kendrick. Out. On to first, and it's another double play. They're second in the first four innings, as that one will retire the side. Bucks go down quietly. They're on the short end of a one to nothing score. Ready to go in the bottom of the fourth. And stepping in is the second baseman, Howie Kendrick. Howie Kendrick. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Outside target here, and he hits it for strike one. Man, this guy's been incredibly efficient so far in this one. Mostly because he's getting ahead. 70% of the batters he's faced, he's thrown a first pitch strike to. Count now a ball and a strike. 
the 1-1 home. Takes this the other way to right. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. So the leadoff hitter in the inning reaches safely for the Nationals. So make it two hits for him in this one as he's on base here in the home fourth. And as you see on the graphic there, that totals good for third place on the Nationals ball club. In now, Kurt Suzuki. As he'll look at a fastball in there on the outer half, it's 0-1. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Oh and one, here it comes. Nope, that's it. over, but low, it's a ball and a strike. One run, five hits, and no errors so far for the Nationals. Swing and a miss on a pitch outside. One and two now. Now a pitch runs in on him here, and all he can do is flare one foul off to the right side. And now one taken by Suzuki as he draws it even at two and two. And he comes back with one down and in for ball three. Victor Robles is on deck. Good battle here. This will be the seventh pitch coming up. And that is swung on and missed by Suzuki. He's down on strikes for the first out. That was some nice execution on that pitch. Spotted it nicely Jennifer, down around the bottom 16. of the zone. And when you do that, Victor. especially with two strikes, not a lot of guys are going to hurt you. You're going to get a lot of ground balls and swings and misses down there. Victor Robles digging in now as he lays off a fastball too low for ball one. It was a double for him in his first turn at the plate. Drilled right back up the middle. And that's through for another base hit. He'll make it two for two in this one. There's a hard hit ground ball. Pitcher not able to get a glove on it. Hard single up the middle. Yeah, watch your lips right there, Dan. Sent it back right where it came from. So now to the plate, Michael Taylor. As the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball, 1-0. and oh. He comes in with that average down in the 240s. One home run and 16 RBIs. Hit on the ground to short. And that's through into left, a base hit. Throw comes in quickly here, and that'll prevent the runner at third from testing things here. Sometimes you got to tip your cap. The pitcher spotted his pitch down the zone right there below the knee. The offensive player was all over it. At the plate now, Patrick Corbin. As the first pitch to him runs a bit inside for ball one. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Pulled toward right center field. Polanco coming on. He can't get to it. This one's down. Throw into second. Throw to second will be in time, but the run's going to come in and score. Oh, oh man, I don't know how that happened. Oh, Looked to be a base hit to the outfield, but then all of a sudden the throw comes in and they get the force on the plate. To be honest, that just can't happen. Here now is Trey Turner. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. First offering on its way. And that's in there for strike one. 
Well, I think he's got to find a way out of this jam and limit the damage. If he's unable to do that, this game could get away from him. Two runs, seven hits, and no errors so far for the Nationals. In there, and he's in control 0-2 now. So far this season, with runners in scoring position, Turner is hitting over 350 up in the high 300s. His batting average right now certainly signifies that this guy is having a great year. I'm very interested to see how this guy finishes up. Man, the pitcher let the guy off easy right there. That old two pitch wasn't even close. I'd rate that as a non-competitive pitch. The one-two sent on the ground out to second. Beautiful diving stop. Touche, sir. One for the highlight reel as they get the force play to get him out of trouble. Back with more Monday Night Baseball following this. And back in our nation's capital, before we get too much further on the field, let's check in with Heidi. Well, Matt, I talked with Pittsburgh's manager during the inning break about the Pirates' offensive production to this point. And flat out, he told me they just need to put better swings on the ball right now. He said they're searching for ways to drive the ball with some authority because it's just not happening for them today. They haven't gotten an extra base hit yet, so it's been a real struggle getting guys into scoring position. But the key, he said, is not to panic. Sometimes you just have to fight through the downturns and keep your focus and energy high. Good stuff, Heidi. Thanks. Gregory Polanco. First pitch on its way. 1 0. The windup and the 1 0 pitch. And he fires in a strike this time to make it one ball and one strike. There's a fastball well off the plate for a ball. Now the 2 1 pitch. Hey, throwing the ball great up until this point. Don't want to allow a leadoff walk. Needs to just focus in on his mechanics right here. Can't keep that one fair, and now the count's full. And a good eye here as he takes ball four, and it's a base on balls to lead off the fifth inning. Well, they haven't been able to scratch a run across yet, so maybe this walk will jumpstart their offense a little bit. Brian Hayes. At the plate, Key Brian Hayes. Here's the first pitch to him. High in the air down the right field line. But this is just going to wind up being a foul ball. A runner at first with no outs here. Hey. Slider, and that's in there for strike two. Not much you're going to do with that pitch right there. You have to catch it out front before it even breaks, and even if you do that, it's a tough pitch to keep fair. Looking to put him away. Here's the 0-2. Fouled away. The next 0-2. Swing and a liner. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. And now they'll have runners at the corners to start off the inning. Now this is their time right here. This starting pitcher has been on point all day. Runs have been at a premium. They have an opportunity to do something special right here. Stepping in now, Jacob Stallings. 
As the first pitch to him is a changeup that can't find the zone. It's ball one. Well, they've yet to hang a number on the scoreboard, but it looks like they've got a great opportunity from the breakthrough. Going to be pretty demoralizing if they can't. Two balls and no strikes. A time to start making some quality pitches. He finds himself in a tough spot behind an account with guys on base. Now the 2-0 home. The runner moving from third as that speared on the mound. Ball's there and Suzuki makes the tag. He's out at the plate. Now he's trying his hardest to help his guys get back into the game, but this time he had no shot. Applaud the hustle, but the decision was a costly one. Two on here with one man out. And into bat next, the speedy Gerard Dyson. First pitch coming, here it is. Fouled off. Runners are at first and second with one away. And boy, was he ever fooled on that pitch. It's 0-2 now. Real ugly 0-1 swing there. As a pitcher, you've got to be hunting for the strikeout knowing you have this guy way off balance. Here it comes, 0-2. One ball, two strikes, to count. If I'm in the box, you take a step out right here. Take a deep breath after that high fastball. you got to be leery of him burying something in the dirt. Just a bit low. Tough call, but it's 2-2. Two and two. Well, he kind of got caught chasing the first two pitches out of the strike zone. But I think he's caught on to their game a little bit right now. Two tough pitches that he took with two strikes. And now the count is 2-2. Two and two. Had to sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. First and second now, one man out. Won't commit on the slider. Good patience, and it's full three and two. I don't think he can afford another base runner here, so whatever pitch he feels best about, whichever one he feels most comfortable with, that's the one I expect him to turn to. Now the three and two pitch three. is in there. A called strike three. It's been a really rough day for this lineup. There's really no other way to say it. Not a lot of good scoring opportunities. And when they've had them, like right now, it's just been an uphill battle for them to make anything positive happen. Into the box now, Joe Musgrove. As he'll look at a fastball too high for ball one. And we'll see what he can do here with a pair of runners on base and two gone here in the fifth. The 1-0 pitch. Now a swing and he pops him up. This is right out in front of the mound. Thames is there to make the catch and the side is retired. Pirates strand a couple. They trail it here, two to nothing. Set now for the bottom of the fifth, and that'll give way to the third baseman, Starlin Castro. Castro. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. At the ball. On the year, Castro brings a batting average just a little over the 250 mark. The 1 0. And here's a ball hit in the air, but no chance to run it down. It's a foul ball. The 1 1. 
is offered at and missed. He chased it for strike two. Some action out in the bullpen. Couple of right-handers starting to loosen up. Swung on and missed. Really fooled him that time for the first out. Wow, that's the case right there where a pitcher knows this guy's up there and he's in swing mode. That pitch wasn't even close to the strike zone, and he still swung at it. Juan Soto to the plate now. Hit down the third baseline. Reined in. And there's out number two. Now back. First baseman, Eric. Thames. So next will be the four hole for the Nationals. Eric Thames. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. First delivery to him on the way. Oh. Hey, they say solos won't kill us, but I got to believe this guy's looking to do exactly that. The 1-0. It's the outside corner, strike one. Bases are empty here with two men out. Nope. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. That's a good take on a fastball out of the zone. Hey, I get it. He's looking for a ball to drive, but that ball was a little bit too far up in the oh, zone. Three. That's one you normally pop right up. Three and one to him now. And this is foul tip, so that runs the count full now at three and two. And he comes back with a fastball. Strike three called, and the inning is over. Nationals gone in order as they're unable to add to their 2 nothing lead. So the batting order turns over now and set to go Kevin Newman and Dan he and his fellow top of the order hitters haven't really offered much help for this lineup so far. No your one two three guys are the ones you look to to generate a lot of action and they just haven't been up to the task so far in this one still time for them to turn it around though we'll see if it happens. He's ready here's the first offering. Here's a strike with the breaking ball. That pitch was so slow it barely registered on the radar gun. Yeah, Matt. We don't see too many pitches crawling to the plate like that, especially these days. That can be a really tough pitch for a hitter to wait back on. A 1-1 count to the Pirates' leadoff hitter. Is put in play to the right side of the infield. There to get it is Kendrick. Throw to first gets him, so the leadoff man's retired here to begin the sixth. So the shutout's still intact here in the sixth as we check out the league leaderboard for Team ERA. And you can see that these guys currently find themselves fourth in the NL in that category. Digging in and looking for more, Brian Reynolds. He singled in two trips to the plate thus far. Here comes the first pitch. And he lays off there 1-0. Oh. No now a swing and he popped him up. Straight up as this is right around home plate. And he'll stay with it to put it away as they get their man here for the second out. Adam. Stepping up now, Adam Frazier. 0 for 2 for him to this point. This is hit the other way out toward left field. Left fielder giving chase. He's there to make the play, and that'll retire the side. Down in order go the Pirates. They're down two to nothing. Davidas Nevoroskis enters to do the pitching in the bottom of the sixth. Number 66. Davidas Nevoroskis. Bottom of the sixth inning now, and that'll give way to the veteran second baseman, Howie Kendrick. 
Kendrick Fred, waiting. Fred. Now the pitch. Nevodoskis, a right-hander standing six foot three. He's in his fourth season as a major league player. And he falls behind now, 2-0. If you've been paying attention, the guy on the mound does not want to come inside. If I'm at the plate, I'm leaning out over. Hitters count. Here's the 2-0 pitch. Two balls and a strike to count. Hops this one up. Frazier ranging into the outfield. He makes the catch. A great effort to get there and record the first out of the inning. At the plate, Kurt Suzuki. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Now it looks like a right-hander's up and throwing in the Pittsburgh bullpen. The 1 0 home misses ball two. Grounded up the first baseline. Bell scoops it up and he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. Center fielder number 16, Victor Robles. Stepping in, Victor Robles. He singled his last time up. Here comes the first pitch. Tries to bunt his way on here, but this is a foul ball. Set to deliver the 0 and 1. Yep, that ball went that misses wide. One ball and one strike. Line toward the alley and left center. Dyson is there and he'll make the catch to retire the side. Three up, three down for Washington, but they hold a 2 0 lead. Seventh inning ready to roll, and next to bat will be the first baseman, Josh Bell. Even though we're moving into the back end of this game, they're only down by a couple of runs. You know that old slogan, a bloop and a blast? They could certainly use that right now. First delivery to him on the way. Checked a swing there and pops this one up. Thames is right there, and it's a very quick out number one. The bat, the right field, Gregory Polanco. Here's Gregory Polanco. It was a walk in his last trip. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. Bottom part of the zone, and the slider is in there for a called strike. His slider's been impressive all night long. If he can continue spinning it like that, he's going to be just fine. And that's in there as well. 0 and 2 now. The seventh inning is one of those innings when you might start seeing some warning signs from your starters that they're reaching the end of their rope, but that's not the case here. He looks really solid to me. Yanked the slider across that time, laid off for a ball. A bouncer to the left side. Castro has it. Throw on to first will get him. Score at 5-3 on the putout, though it looked more like a 6-3 ground ball. Nevertheless, there are two away now. Ready for another chance? Key Brian Hayes. It was a single for him in his last at-bat. Here's the first pitch to him. Hey. We're moving right along into this one. This guy's continuing to pitch well, which is a little bit of a surprise because his first pitch strike ratio is still under 60%.
set up away with the changeup, but it's one and one. I think when a team starts struggling, certainly offensively, it's just guys try and play above their pay grade. Know who the best players are in the lineup and try and get on base to set them up. And he lays off for a ball, two and one. Two out, nobody on. All even now, two and two. Right side, but it's going to be a foul ball. Even at two balls and two strikes, here's the pitch. When you're playing close games like this, base runners mean everything, so he can ill afford to start giving away free passes. And he looks at one that misses, and that's an excellent job of making his man throw a lot of pitches as he toughs out a walk. And I'm pretty wow, sure he thought that was a strike. He's thinking, what do I have to do? Put a bow on it? Walk it down and put it in the catcher's glove by myself? I think it got called a little outside, so he has to put it behind him now. Now at the plate, Jacob Stallings. He represents the potential tying run if he can launch one or find a way around the bases. Yeah, Matt, I kind of doubt he's thinking about going yard, even though that would be the best result they could hope for. He's not a long ball threat, and he knows it so he could just be looking for some way to keep that line moving. First pitch coming, here it is. And he popped him up. Back into foul territory behind first. Just foul. And he takes this one high, one and one. One ball, one strike. Lifted in the air out towards left center. Robles is in pursuit. He's there to make the play, and that'll retire the side. One left for Pittsburgh. They're still down. It's 2-0. Now the skipper's on his way out toward the home plate area, and I believe that means we're going to have a double switch here. Your Richard Rodriguez will come on now, and he'll slide into the seven spot in the lineup following the double switch. Luke Maley is into the ball game as well, as he'll slide into the pitcher's spot, hitting ninth now on the double switch. Number 14, Luke Maley. Here's the first pitch to him. Nope, and a fastball ball. close, but ultimately nope, ruled a ball, 1-0. and oh. yeah. And the fastball hitting 93 on the gun. It's 1-1. One and one. Count moves to a ball and two strikes now. The one two. Now here's a swing and a ground ball for Frazier at second. And that's out number one. The pitcher, number 46, Patrick Corbin. Next to hit will be the pitcher, Patrick Corbin. He's been great on the mound, so we'll see if he can do something with the bat here as well. He's earned a chance to take this at bat. Yeah, Matt, when a guy's throwing the ball as well as he has, it kind of forces the manager's hand to stay with him. He's been exciting to watch, and he's really had this crowd behind him the entire game. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. And he takes ball one. And that pitch misses in the dirt, and it's 2-0 and now. Here's the pitch. Strike called, 2-1. and one. Now 
One out, nobody on. This is skied into short left center. Dyson comes on and makes the catch in shallow left for out number two. Up next for the Nationals, the shortstop, Ray Turner. Stepping into the box, Trey Turner. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. First pitch on its way. Hey. Bases are empty here with two men out. Into the corner and slicing foul. Hit the other way out toward right field. Polanco will reach out with one hand to make the catch on the move, and that ends the inning. Nationals gone in order, but they're on top two to nothing. Digging in once again, Gerard Dyson. One for two on his line so far in the game. Starting to run out of time. They haven't been able to score any runs as we're moving late into this one. A perfect time for this leadoff guy to try to get on base and ignite a rally. You never want to take the aggression away from a ball player, but in this situation, I'd like to see the leadoff guy try and work the count a little bit more, especially when his pitcher's missing like he is. Behind 0-2 now. Ball low as he's able to lay off the slider. To two balls and two strikes now. Three and two now. Hey, leading off an inning in this situation, three balls on you. You have to know that a solo shot's not tying this game up. You have to find a way to get on base any way possible. Fastball swung on and missed for the first down. He's been in total control out there tonight. Gets the leadoff guy with a strike out there, and it just seems like we've seen so many off-balance swings and weekly hit balls in this one. Here's the catcher, Luke Maley. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. And you see that average below the dreaded Mendoza line. The windup and the 1 0 pitch. And it's fouled away. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Line drive, and that's a base hit into center field. Number nine batter comes through that time as it'll now be up to the top of the order with one away. Hey, guys, he's lucky he's getting this baseball back. He hung that middle of the plate. The batter's eyes lit up, and he was able to put good wood on it. Standing in now, Kevin Newman, as he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. He could really use a knock here 0 for 3 in the game so far. The 1 0 home is looked at off the plate for a ball. Those were great takes right there. Those were pitches that a lot of guys normally swing at, but he took both of them and finds himself in a productive count leverage 2 0. This is line to left. And he'll lay out to make a spectacular catch. Wow. There are two parts to every great catch. One, getting the right route to make the play. And two, hanging on. That was a terrific diving catch by the outfielder. Ball 
digging in the switch hitter Brian Reynolds he got under one and popped out his last time up yeah I don't mind him trying to drive the ball in the air but he can't collapse the backside and that's exactly what he did in his last at bat look for him to stay a little taller and keep that upper half a little bit more over him. strike one to start the at bat. Outside for a ball, one and one. That fastball really got away from him there. That's kind of a red flag for me that he's starting to tire or wear down a little bit. The first thing that goes is location and then your mechanics. We'll see if this continues. Two out with the man at first. Inside and low, two and one. Can't connect there. It's two and two. So far, this has been a terrific outing for this guy. Throwing well, keeping his pitches to a minimum, locating his fastball to both sides of the plate. Good command of the off-speed pitches. Very little traffic on the bases. So far, he couldn't have drawn up to be any better than he has been so far in this one. The 3-2 pitch rolled slowly down the first baseline. But this will get foul, so they'll do it again. Three and two. Payoff pitch one more time. Hit the other way out toward right field. Chasing after it is Taylor. He tracks it down, and that will end the inning. Pirates leave one. They trail it here two to nothing. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And set to go is the third baseman, Starlin Castro. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. The 1 0 home. Nope. Down low, and the plot thickens here. Three and O. Oh. And this is taken here for ball four. So the leadoff man's on base to kick off the home eighth. Well, that is definitely not the way to start an inning. One thing to give up a walk, but to do it on four pitches is pretty alarming. He looks a little thrown off right now. So a runner at first now with nobody out. And digging into bat next, the ever-dangerous Juan Soto. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Nope, not that. Well, he's following the code not to miss down and into a lefty everything on the outer half of the plate. Now the one and one pitch is swung on and missed for strike number two. One and two. Working for the punch out and the offering. Well, and he lays off it to even the count two and two. From the belt, kicks and deals. This one's down to third. Oh, a diving stop to second for one. On to first, but not in time as he's in there ahead of the throw. Boy, that was a smooth play, wasn't it? Great job to lay out and make the stop and then the feed to second from his knees for the out. 
Pretty impressive display there. So a runner at first now with one away, and in steps the lefty power threat Eric Thames. He's set now the pitch. No Ball pressure. one. That's and two and zero now as this misses below the knees. Clearly working the bottom of the zone, trying to get a ground ball for a double play. Two zero count. The pitch. Big swing by Thames and a deep drive to right. Gone into the home bullpen for a home run. A two-run blast to straightaway right field. Number 18 for him on the campaign. And the Nationals have now taken a 4-0 lead. I know one thing with this homer, it might make the decision to send the starter back out there a little easier for the manager. You've got some wiggle room now, and he's been pitching well, so I expect they'll be having that conversation in the dugout. You know he wants to go back out there. Here's Howie now Kendrick. Second baseman, Howie. As the first pitch here's a bit high, it's ball one. So far, two for three in this one. The 1-0. One, oh. one ball, one strike to count. Still only one out in the inning. Lifted in the air out to right. On the move is Polanco. He gets there, and that's the second out. The catcher, number 28, Kirk Suzuki. So two down now in the Washington eighth, and that'll bring in the catcher, Kurt Suzuki. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Swing, and there it goes. Deep to left. No chance at bringing this one back. And it's gone as they add still another. So a solo shot there from Kurt Suzuki. Sixth home run on the season for him. And the Nationals have made this a 5-0 game. We've seen these guys go deep three times so far in this one, guys. You know, D-Row, looks like the boys are dialing long distance from the batter's box so far. <laughs> yeah, the pitchers aren't fooling anyone today, Dan. Let's see if this trend continues. Kyle Crick enters here looking to get the final out before the ninth inning. Now batter, center fielder. Into the box, Victor Robles. This will go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. With this one almost in books, the story was clearly the long ball. What are your thoughts on this offense, fellas? Yeah, you ain't kidding, Matty. Dan, what does this feel like when balls are just flying out of the yard? Dero, it's just one of those days when you're out there as a pitcher going... Oh, I wish I was somewhere anywhere else, but on that bump right now, this has the makings of being a long game. Skied into straightaway right. Polanco has a read on it. And that ends the inning. So two home runs in the inning lead to three runs on the scoreboard. We've played eight full. The Nationals lead it. Five to nothing. New inning set to get underway, and that'll bring in the second baseman, Adam Frazier. 
First delivery to him on the way. Off we go in the ninth as the first pitch misses for ball one. And some action out in that Washington bullpen now as we see both a left-hander and a right-hander throwing. The 1-0. Well, he's done a real nice job with that breaking ball in this start. That's not the first time he's locked the guy up with it. From the windup, the 1-1 pitch. Hey. Count still at one and two. And the pitch. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. He pulls this one into right. Taylor is there and he makes the catch for the out. Good contact to start out the inning. Thought he might be on base with some sort of a hit, but it hung up there too long. Just unlucky that time. Josh Bell the next to hit. And his dominance continues on the mound, but it seems like he might be running on adrenaline only at this point. Yeah, he's been so great in this one. You want to see him finish what he started, but you also have to start worrying about things like injuries. He's thrown a lot of pitches in this one, and some guys are just more capable of that than others. But not a lot of good things tend to happen when you've worked as hard as he has in this one. One and oh, the count. Bases are empty, one man out. Line drive to left. And that's into the outfield for a one-out base hit. Hey, guys, I like the execution by the batter there. He got a hanger in the middle of the plate. He could have come unglued, but he didn't. He stayed focused and drove a line drive base hit. Now we're going to have a conference at the home plate area, so it would appear that we'll see a double switch here. Rowena Salias is in out of the bullpen now as he'll be inserted into the number six spot following the double switch. Jan Gomes will also come on now as he'll move into the pitcher's number nine hold in the order here on that double switch. Batting nine, number ten, Jan Gomes. At the plate, Gregory Polanco. And yes, he'll take a look at ball one. No hits to this point. That's to the left and foul. One ball, one strike. One one is taken for ball two. Rounded softly down the line toward first, but this will be a foul ball as that evens things at two and two. Runners on first with one down. And another foul ball. The 2-2 is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. Got him with a good high fastball there. Danny, we see a lot of that pitch in strikeout situations these days. What makes it so effective? I think, Matt, what makes it such a tough pitch is you're changing eye levels. That fastball up looks so enticing to hit that you think you see that ball as a hitter. Do you think you can drive it? But it's really hard to get on top of that good high hard fastball. At the plate now, Key Brian Hayes. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. A hit in two tries for him so far. Hey. 
A ball and a strike. I got one ball, one strike. Lifted down the line and left. And this is going to get down. It's a foul ball. And with about 32,000 in the building, they're on their feet now. Now a swing and a fly ball. And this should do it. And he will make the catch to wrap this one up. And the Nationals have taken the opener here at home as this ball game is over. I expect this series to be a battle. So to take the first game at home is definitely the way you want to start it out. Give that home crowd a reason to come back tomorrow for what will hopefully be another solid performance. A 5-0 finish tonight. The Nationals led this game from the third inning on and never wavered. Patrick Corbin wins his third of the season. So that's a wrap here tonight. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and Heidi Watney, this is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, find us on Twitter, at MLB The Show. Final line score for the ball game tonight for the victorious Washington Nationals. Five runs on nine hits, no errors. They left five men on base. For the Pirates, no runs, five hits, no errors. They left eight men on base. Time of the ball game: two hours and 48 minutes. Thank you for joining us here tonight, and we remind you to please. Drive home safely.